What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully, you're having a great evening or morning or whenever this is that you're listening to this. Um, thanks for watching, coming by the channel. I wanted to take some time to go over a project company that I have talked about before and I wanted to go just give you guys an update on it. It's a project that I'm super bullish on. I feel like there's so much massive potential to it and what it's doing and just really reshaping our entire market and you know on this channel i like to invest in cryptos that are part of the new financial system that are part of literally what's changing the fabric of our society so that uh, company is quant so now quant is one of those and you know it's right now the past few months it's definitely it's definitely been going down and so you can see right here even on trading view we're we're at 159 160 dollars right now so this is something that over the past few months people if you're just now looking at it and you're looking at you know the, the three month chart or something on coin market cap it's just something like it just looks like it's bleeding but it's one of those projects because it's so scarce and what it does that that is massive potential massive potential in the future so it's like there's so there's so much to it but i wanted to share a few tweets before we dig in uh, to an article i wanted to show you can see right here on twitter we got hyper quampy he says qnt all is going to plan large wicks to the downside have preceded every pump in quants history if you understand this you know that now is not the time for panic so I, he says, I like this price action. It ensures only the true believers stay on board. So you can see right here, let's pull this chart up. So you can see just over the past several months, this goes back to uh, April uh, of 2020 here. You can just kind of see, or actually earlier than that, but he's making reference to every time this wicks down super you know, below the moving average here, right after it just pumps up. It just pumps up so right now even though we've been down the past few months we've been down uh, just where we are in relation to even just a few months ago is definitely a, a big thing I was I know some people were getting into this at you know the seven eight twelve dollar range I but I put most of my buys uh, in the seventy dollar range so that was just right before I really started researching it a lot and just got fortunate and just was able to ride this pump up pump pump pump, pump all the way up and to be honest i should have taken more profits up here because i it would have corrected down and i could have bought back in but long term long term i'm glad i i held a nice bag of this because long term this is a, a project i feel like is going to be within just a few handful of years thousands tens of thousands of dollars tens of thousands of dollars uh, and just value and just what's moving along so you you see right here dread bongo says qnt has not been this oversold on the daily since its capitulation to a dollar 39 in march 2020 if you're on twitter definitely go follow dread bongo he's fantastic love watching his analysis he says it then pumped 31,000 percent to 430 dollars so he's basically saying we're really oversold right now we're extremely oversold you can even see this on market cypher b here we are just there's potential there there's potential for this to just pump back up massive you even see market cypher b has a little green dot down here which this is something i've been learning how to use a lot lately so we're just going to take the journey together here on this channel and learn how to really use these tools as just another layer of analysis i'm much bigger on fundamental analysis but i do think technical analysis has its place i just think some people can get way down into the weeds but we see right here definitely uh, this is telling us we got a green dot which means that we are at the bottom of a potentially a pump here so uh who knows let's see what happens there i'm excited about that i'm definitely holding on we got qnt kazi though just giving you a little bit of a different point of view he says sold 50 percent of my quant i know a lot of you will hate me but the chart looks like absolute shit i'm going to buy another coin get some profits and bring them back in so he's uh he's essentially saying look it's just i i've lost i lost a lot i don't want my money to sit in here losing money i'm going to put it into something else and buy back in it's totally can understand that totally respect that and then i got another tweet here i really like uh nick here at in cash official he says i accumulate 
quant not because i am looking for profits this bull run but because i know in time that there will no longer be any more to buy the price of q and t will be well beyond bitcoin's price i don't care about a five thousand ten thousand or even fifty thousand dollar quant i am looking at one hundred thousand to one million and so you can see right here the total max supply of all quant ever is 14,612,493. The circulating supply, we're at 83% of that. We're at 12,072,738. So once the overledger network, and just to kind of show you, and I, I'm I, this is a very popular chart, but the overledger, just this is a really amazing representation. I'm trying to find who originally made this, but it's amazing. You can see here overledger. For, for a quant to get up to some of these massive prices, you know, with the market cap that it is right now, it's it's so tiny. It's so tiny compared to where it will be. Fully diluted market cap. You know, you see right here, we're right at, you know, 1.9 billion as of today. So the potential future, or the, the potential in the future is just look at all of these individual networks and what i call ecosystems of value so you have different blockchains different payment apis you see all of these different names amazon google paypal venmo you see all of these different api cloud-based services everything from crms like mailchimp google instagram google drive spotify ebay look at all of these outlook linkedin all of these companies can connect and securely move data across their individual different blockchains and some of these names are massive some of these names are massive you're not going to hear about them because quant is their customer is not the average retail investor so they're behind the scenes they're behind the scenes making these partnerships so you're not going to see that you're not going to see anything more than what, what you're seeing right now so there's a really cool article here that's actually from the CEO Gilbert Verdian back on uh, from November 12th and this was in the Oracle blockchain blog so just recently just to kind of kind of recap here Oracle is the 38th largest company in the world they are a massive data AI type cloud-based uh, data infrastructure so a lot of businesses use them worldwide they're just they're massive they have a lot of company in fact just to kind of give you an idea here on forbes.com oracle cloud this is just one of their main branches oracle cloud tops 10,000 customers and 25 million users and so oracle just recently certified quant as a uh, oracle blockchain platform partner so meaning all of these customers on oracle cloud 10,000 customers, 25 million users are now tied together into the quant network via via the overledger. So this is just another example of another partnership coming online. It's partnerships like joining other partnerships like Amazon Web Services and other gigantic companies. You can see right here, why is interoper interoperability such a big buzzword? And this this blog post does a great job of kind of breaking it down so i wanted to kind of kind of summarize it here and a bridge to cross ledger blockchain interoperability since the last year we've seen growing interest in blockchain and it's plain to see why the technology is totally rewiring commerce is driving efficiencies lowering costs and opening up new revenue streams no wonder senior executives are paying attention according to deloitte 77 percent of financial leaders are worried that they will miss out on an opportunity for competitive advantage if they don't adopt blockchain it's a big turnaround from a few years ago when blockchain barely registered on the radar of most companies and so these are companies massive companies like r3 corda and sia which is a which is a very large bank uh, group in europe tied in with the european central bank considering the evolution of distributed ledger technologies is no it's not surprising that blockchain interoperability has become a necessity more and more and more companies are using different distributed ledger technologies so you have a bunch of these large enterprises that are using different blockchains and so we need a way for all of these ecosystems of value some of them more private than others to connect and share value that's where massive money and, and value is going to be flowing through these systems interoperability between blockchain consortiums is picking up speed 
you see the three facets of blockchain interoperability um, actually let me go back here because this is actually the main point that I wanted to make here interoperability between blockchain consortiums is picking up speed as seen in this announcement between Oracle blockchain based global shipping business network GSB and a digital trade finance network contour which is based on R3 Corda so this is very fascinating right here global shipping business network if we pull them up and we sit, kind of see who contour is and what global shipping business network is contour is tied in with r3 corda and i made another video on xdc r3 corda is a bank is a very large banking consortium and their their token of choice on their private corda blockchain is xdc so again i made a deep dive video on xdc but this is r3 corda you see right here it's tied in hyperledger corda jp morgan quorum ethereum Corda is a massive blockchain tied to XDC. XDC is going after a 15 to 19 trillion dollar global trade finance market. So this gives a direct tie to quant and yet another multi-trillion dollar industry. So you see right here, Contour, you see a little bit about them. They're the first digital trade network of the world's leading trade banks, harnessing Corda Enterprise to bring transformational efficiencies to documentary trade. Following 14 public live pilots in 14 countries, Contour has proven to reduce end-to-end -end processing time for LCs by 90% or more, simplifying the process for all participants and enabling new business opportunities for banks, corporates, and trade ecosystem players. So that's massive. That's massive partnership there. And these are only going to continue to develop. These are only going to continue to develop and get bigger. And again, this is just Oracle is just one little i mean not little they're a gigantic company they're just they're just one one company and so as more and more of these partnerships uh, to begin to develop it, these the ecosystems of value are just going to get bigger so you can just see quant is also they've they've got just a lot of partnerships here on their website i'm not going to click through all of them but they're just one of their partners is uh, like i said sia bank sia bank is a very large very large bank based out of the uh, based out of Europe here I had their website pulled up looks like it just reset on me yeah but you can see right here Sia is just very large and they are they're tied in to quant as well as their use right here is a European leader in the design creation and management of technology infrastructures and services for financial institutions central banks corporates and the public sector so these are these are large companies automatically needing their ecosystems of value to flow over through quant so i think with just just speculating you know here knowing that this whole space knowing that the crypto space is going to be worth tens to hundreds of trillions of dollars when every asset when every when whenever every bit of real estate when uh, every commodity when every asset when everything is tokenized when anything that has value is tokenized quant will be what connects all of those together so there'll be trillions of dollars in the crypto space and so if quant just has again we're at two billion now quant because of its supply and because of its demand even at just a market cap of 250 billion 250 billion would put us at eighteen thousand seven hundred dollars you see right now this is another massive potential and win this is another no brainer long term due to the partnerships due to the what they're doing doing to the due to the value that the problem is that they're trying to solve how massive that is that and that's just half the value of ethereum right now 250 billion so if you're newer to crypto and this kind of the 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 intended direction of this video was for people who are maybe getting into it and they wanted other good projects to really start researching quant is definitely that project even at these prices that you could just dollar cost average dollar cost average into so you know once we'll say ethereum gets up to the price or i'm sorry quant gets up to the price of ethereum now 500 billion that's an upside right there that's 37 thousand I think in the future this could be something where quant is one trillion two five trillion ten fifty trillion dollars potentially if we if we got an overall market cap of two hundred trillion I know this sounds people like Dylan that sounds crazy that sounds crazy but if the entire market is worth two hundred trillion and quant connects 
literally everything, what's to say it can't be worth 50 trillion? If Bitcoin is worth a half almost of the entire crypto market now and does nothing more than a store of value, I don't see why something like Quant that actually truly does connect everything in a proprietary way couldn't be worth a large chunk of the overall market cap. But even a 500 billion, 37 37,000. So you get, I mean, 161 to 37,000, that's a 230x. Let's say we're at a trillion. Let's say we're at, we're, let's say we go to a trillion. Let's say we go to a trillion. We're at a trillion dollars. The overall market might be 20 trillion. We got 1 trillion of that. We got 1 trillion of that. That puts us at $74,000. $74,000. And I think, I think by the year 2030, 2035, we could even be higher than that. We could be a 10 trillion. That's going to put us at $746,000 per quant. So this is one of those long-term dollar cost averaging, not financial advice. This is my own journey and my own research. Take it with a grain of salt and do your own research. But this is something that would definitely be worth uh, looking into to add to your portfolio, especially at these juicy prices. This is one of those that I am definitely heavily in on. And in fact, I was buying more. I bought a few more this week at these prices, you know? So even if they get higher, just get a little bit. That's what I've been doing, get a little bit at a time, you know, because within one, two, three years, we're not gonna see, we're not gonna see these prices that we see right now. We're gonna see, it, it, you know, like I said, a realistic, realistic, if we're at $2 billion now, I mean, even just getting to 50 billion, even just getting to 50 billion is gonna put us at $3,700. So almost the price of Ethereum with just $50 billion. So $2 billion to $50 billion market cap. Do you, do you not think that we could go from a $2 billion to $50 billion considering the massive market? I, I definitely think so. That's a 22x from here. So you could just double down on this quite realistically within a year or two and just make potentially a massive ROI. I'm firmly, firmly a believer in that. So... This video is getting a little long. Hopefully this was awesome and you enjoyed it. And if you're watching this video and you like me doing these types of deeper dive videos, talking more long about what different projects are, I definitely intend on keeping everybody up to date. So if you're not already subscribed to the channel, I definitely enjoy doing these videos. I'm doing them for you. These take time definitely digging in and putting all this together but hopefully you're getting some value from this and it's just going to help you save some time in your research so that you can get out there and more easily create generational wealth right now we are in a massive opportunity and it's so i'm so excited to be alive right now to be able to share this stuff with you so as you can tell it's it's something that is very exciting because you, it, very but never before in the history of the species have we been at a place that we are right now so if you love making money in the new financial system and you enjoy me doing all this research for you smash the like button definitely i know tons of people ask for it but definitely it helps me out because i want to be able to keep making these for you and hopefully like i said you're getting some good value from this just smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, do all that fun stuff, and leave a comment. I would love to hear from you as well. So we'll see you on the next video. Have a good night.